Greetings, everyone. I've been reading this uh, very interesting book called From Tin Foil to Stereo, and I'm going to show you a couple of pictures from it, but I wanted to show you the cover of the book in case you wanted to find one. Unfortunately, it's uh, they have several covers, so this is what it looks like. Anyway, there's some interesting pictures in here. Uh, we've talked a lot on this channel about stylus shape and record wear and tracking force and all that and uh, these are the best pictures that I've ever found that show you exactly what happens when you play your records with different stylus shapes. The first set of images we want to take a look at here are images of the stylus riding in a groove and uh, the first image shows the uh, stylus in a groove and then there's another one here which uh, is a close-up of that one but really the important images on this page is when you uh, scan down a little bit here and look at these images the uh, top two images A and C are the effect of playing a record 50 times with a 0.7 mil spherical stylus and uh, this is uh, at five grams which is quite heavy so that's what that wear looks like okay and also this is a vertically modulated groove now this uh, from tinfoil to stereo book is not exactly light reading <laughs> you have to be kind of a nut to get into it. Uh, but anyway the second set of images here shows uh, the same wear from a 0.2 by 0.7 elliptical stylus tracking at 1.5 grams so take a look at this image here this is the elliptical stylus tracking at 1.5 and this image is the 0.7 mil um, stylus conical shape tracking at 5 grams 50 plays with vertical modulation this next set of images is really telling. What you're looking at, image A, is an electron microscope picture of a groove after it has been played with a 0.7 mil stylus tracking at 5 grams. Now, if you think that's excessive, think about a lot of the DJ turntables today. They track between 3 and 6 grams, and they have 0.7 mil conical styluses, usually from uh, carts from people like Stanton and uh, Ortofon. Ortofon's track at 3, Stanton's track at 4. Sure has some um, 0.7 mil conical styli that track a little lighter at 2.5 grams, uh, so you probably wouldn't see this kind of wear. Um, but uh, all of the Stanton carts that are being put out now, all of the replacement styli, they are, um, you know, uh, 0.7 mil expected to be tracked between 3 and 5 grams. So this is what they do to your records over time. Now if we jump down here to this image, this is what the same, well a, a groove just like it, it's obviously not the same one, but this is what, the, the, this is what you get when you play your records with a uh, 0.2 by 0.7 elliptical stylus, which would be equivalent to the Shure uh, M97XE. Uh, that is what comes on that. Now, most of the Audio-Technica cartridges that uh, sport uh, elliptical styli have a 0.3 by 0.7, so that's not too far off, but this is what it looks like after 50 plays, and that's at 1.5 grams. And the last image to uh, look at here uh, is this one, which shows what happens when you play your records with a 0.7 mil conical stylus tracking at 1.5 grams. Now, the only cartridges that will allow you to do that today on the market, um, we're talking about the under $100 crowd here, guys, uh, are the uh, P-mount or universal cartridges from Audio-Technica because you can either buy it with a 0.6 mil ellip uh, conical stylus on it, or you can buy an ATN 3472C, which is the conical replacement stylus for that body style of cartridge from Audio-Technica. We're talking about the Bullnose uh, 3482 style cartridges, and we've talked about those here on the channel. And that's what I'm using now with a uh, 0.6 mil uh, conical stylus on it, and that's what the record looks like after 50 plays. So I've been saying all along here 
that uh, spherical styli are kinder to your records when they're tracked light. And uh, here is some images to, <coughs> excuse me, to back that up. So anyhow, that's all I got. It's a very interesting book. It's not what I would call light reading, though. <laughs> you have to be sort of a nut to get through it. The two authors are very verbose. Uh, and it was uh, Oliver Reed and Walter Welsh are the guys who wrote this book. And it was first put out in 1958. And um, it has been um, uh, updated. Uh, the latest one is from like the late 70s. So if you find one and if you're a phonograph nut, there you go. Take a look at it. JC, winding it up. Thanks for watching.